why the book of Enoch was taken out from the scriptures. Uh, one, uh, I believe it was evil intent to take out that book from the scriptures or it may never have been added to the scriptures. So this was way before uh, King James Version was in existence. Hosea 4, 6, uh, my people will perish from lack of knowledge. Uh, and you know, uh, the name of God has been taken out of most of the Bibles as well, except in, uh, you know, versions like the King James Version and most versions in one chapter, if you look up uh, Psalms 83, 18, it'll have God's name there, but everywhere else it'll be placed with Lord or God, which are both titles. Um, also in the book of Enoch, it, it says specific names of, you know, uh, of entities that are the, some of the spirits or the watchmen that were supposed to, that had came down. Um, you know, there were, it was 200 of them initially, are the ones that had came down and had relations with women. Uh, it speaks about how close Enoch was with God and how, uh, you know, people tried to, you know, they make him king, and so like they always try to make someone king that's really close to God, you know, or they do make them king, like David was king. They tried to make Jesus king, um, you know. But there's a lot of specific information in this book, and, uh, you know, that could be one of the reasons why maybe Satan took it out, or, you know, they allow stuff like that to happen. That's how, how I know do they, how they, how I know that God allows it to happen. It's because why, you know, all his, they took out, all his name from the book except in Psalm 13 and all the versions except uh, some of the new versions out uh, you know like the JW versions of the Bible they all have God's name everywhere which uh, that's where it's supposed to be but you know there's some books in there that are still not in there but that's you know where research and stuff like that comes in and of course, when you read something and kind of determine whether it's real or fake, you know, or see, or determine for yourself where the information, you know, fill it, fill it out, see if, you know, if it's legit compared to, you know, all the scriptures and stuff. And, uh, you know, go so far, you know, it's, the book seems, you know, the same way, it falls into place, you know. In the first parts of the Bible, it talks about, you know, all these wars and stuff that God would have his people engage in, in wars and fighting. And God doesn't like any of that. So it's like, why would they show all of these wars and fighting and, and deaths and dying and all this stuff like that that God hates? It's because uh, that's what, you know, they left a lot of that in there. But it was also, you know, because of the, the, the evil that God allowed to uh, to be destroyed in in those times like you know nephilim and stuff that weren't supposed to you know be created which it goes very much into detail about the nephilim and stuff like that as well in the book of enoch uh in the all the bibles in jude 1 jude jude 1 14 speaks about daniel i mean enoch prophesying and and that doesn't show anywhere in the bible in the regular bibles him prophesying at all, only in the book of Enoch. Um, there's a lot of different things, like um, there's only 66 books also in the regular Bible, but 66 is imperfection, like uh, six, if you add one more six, that's, you know, Satan's number, but uh, God uh, always uses seven, like seven trumpets, seven angels, 777, seven, seven, you know, you win, you know, even here in Las Vegas, you win a jackpot with all sevens. And so it's associated with heavenly, um, and six is associated with earthly or imperfection. Uh, so that's kind of like you can see what maybe there's some books taken out because there's 66 books. That's an imperfect number. Um, also, there's supposed to be seven scrolls open. Uh, in the future and there's different signs and things like that but uh with your current knowledge you know have faith and but just always keep learning and you know don't uh, don't you know close your mind to new ideas because you're afraid of what you may think or believe but you know try to see the truth you know try to reason what is what is real you know what i mean
and uh, it makes sense, you know. If it makes sense, then you know, that's what it is. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe, and share. Peace out.